Greetings from Poly Plugins. Today we're going to be taking a look at product redirection for WooCommerce. This is going to be the pro and free version, kind of broken down. So if we just take a look, once you install the plugin itself, you're going to see a few different options. You'll see the settings or roadmap and support. Depending on which version you have, support and roadmap are going to be different. But essentially the roadmap is going to break down a list of features that we're planning to include in the future. So you have the, the pro version here, which is also going to include everything in the free version. So this is just a breakdown of what we have to come. And then if we take a look into the settings itself, we'll see a breakdown here. The general is going to be those that have the free version. Out of stock is for pro, and you'll see license too for pro members. So pop-up is the pop-up that displays when you try to trash a product along with disabling deleting products in general. So once you have these two checked, you cannot delete a product, which we recommend just because just deleting a product is bad for SEO. Um, 404 pages, Google and other search engines just really dislike. So if we take a look at the out of stock here, we'll also see some options that basically whenever a product becomes out of stock, this will automatically trigger and this will give um, actual notice or product recommendations whenever a product is out of stock. So instead of going to a product and seeing a generic out of stock message, this will say, hey, check out products in our whatever category that product is in. Um, you'll want to leave this the way it is, at least the, as far as the sentence, because it'll automatically fill in the remaining part right here. So you can change this to your liking. Just remember that this part is automatically set. And then if we go take a look at an actual product itself, you'll see if we try to trash a product, it'll tell you it's bad, and then you can just click show me. Depending on what kind of plugins you have installed, this may not be at the top of your actual product listing on your in your settings area, but you can relocate it so you can move it around if it's like way at the bottom. So you'll see uh, disabled, notice, redirect, and landing page. If you have a redirect set, this is gonna be part of the free plugin. You can do temporary or permanent, and you can redirect to a custom URL or to your product's parent category. So if we set it to this and we click update, you'll see that it redirects to the clothing category. Now if we go on to a premium feature here, say notice, this will give a notice along with some recommended products. So we'll update that. We'll see the notice that this product is no longer available and you can find similar ones in our whichever category is related and you can find that the, you have the beanie, the belt, and all these other recommended products. And it will also disable the add to cart button so you can no longer add the product to the cart. So with the setting disabled, if we refresh the page, you'll see the add to cart button comes back. Now we can also do a landing page itself and we refresh the page. This actually will remove the entire product and only display a notice along with other recommended products for it. So this can also be customized it is a custom template for WooCommerce, which you can find inside of the plugins file itself under the WooCommerce directory and you can edit it to your liking if if you want something a little more advanced. Just keep in mind with uh, future updates to make sure to save that. If you have a repo like Bitbucket or anything along those lines then you can easily copy those changes over to your existing template. So that pretty much sums up everything that this plugin is capable of doing. Of course we have additional functionality that we're working on inside of our roadmap. Um, which we can break down here as well, uh, just because it is upcoming. And one feature a lot of clients are actually looking forward to, we kind of wanted to touch base a little bit on here. And that is the flagging of redirected products. So essentially, whenever you go to the products page, it will actually flag the product if it's being redirected or handled by the product redirection for WooCommerce. And this is going to be for both pro and free versions. And at some point in the future, we do also plan to add something under products that handles specifically 
showing what products are being redirected so you can easily get access to them or maybe even we'll add an option up here so that way you can have like a redirected or notices filter and you can just click it and see all those products. That seems a little more efficient, so we'll probably end up doing it that way. We hope that this was uh, really helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on polyplugins.com support, or if you have the free version, you can do so via the WordPress repo support tab.